right guys, we're back, round two. Sorry we didn't bring you the interview. We could have done in the end, because the game went to uh, literally the last of time. Was there a draw in the end, or was there a No, I think, uh, so it was Liam and a player whose name I don't know, sadly, but uh, Liam on his soiree, and he lost just at seven damage. Uh, but we're going to also have a special guest for this uh, this round. We are really interesting deck here with Ben's. Um, yeah, like really through? interesting deck. When we're talking about our special guest, let's talk about the special guest first. How oh, rude of you. I, I completely blanked that. I'm so sorry, Kitty. What's up? What's up? Yeah, guys, we are joined with Kitty. He hasn't been behind the mic for a while because he's obviously been in the competition. Kitty, how's the day going? I, uh, I got a two round bye. I'm chilling. Yeah, exactly. Just been off for a lovely walk to get some fresh air. <laughs> touch, touch some grass. <laughs> Welcome back, though, by the way. Wasn't, wasn't smoke some grass, was it? No, no, uh, not at all. It's a shame to have been insulted that you didn't invite me. Anyway. What have we got, what have we got today, lads? So we have got Jacob Bond. Uh, not Jacob J. Jacob Bond Jacob on Bond, the left. Yeah. Earthwater um, Chaos, and then we have Ben Roberts with a four colour that's running Darkness Manifest. Oh, locals yeah. on locals. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be like that for a few rounds of how many of our locals have buys, to be fair. One thing we did not change was the mat as well. Do you want me to do it? Please. Um, so I'll set on the end. Just, just going to throw Taylor up there. So it's Ben's going away from the camera, right? Yeah. Yep. So, Darkness Manifest. Yeah, so this is an interesting list that Ben said he was trying on Thursday, which I really want to see in action. Um, so, glad we got to see it. Uh, so, interesting call out from Taylor just now with three CV. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, Taylor. Um, so, we've got like Gallif, Warrior Lightning, of course, this, you know, typical four color yeah, stuff yeah. as well. So, this should be pretty juicy. We've got a couple other nice little tech choices in there. I see a, a friend. There is a couple demons. And what else have we got? A Galoof and the Tidus. Is that the three cost Tidus that just pokes for damage? And uh, what opus are we looking 16. at? 16. 16, yeah, that's yeah, the three that's cost. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an interesting deck. Mm. Uh, I, was, I was just talking to Ben about it, and Ben literally just said he picked all of his favourite cards that work within a four colour pile and just whacked them in the deck. Sometimes that's all you have to do. Yep. 50 car pile decks are usually fun, so... Uh, mm -hmm. It seems to be working for him. I mean, he's, it's gone to the second round, and he said he's been doing well with it before, so... It, this could be a bad matchup for him, mind. Again, obviously, Jacob is on a Chaos Arc build, um, with uh, Opus 20 Legend Uno as well in the mix, which is uh, an interesting one. Okay, this, the, um, the Summoner one. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, we got Gabranth in there as well, which will search him as Chaos. Only two Chaos. Uh, three arc though makes sense. Uh, obviously, you got your Ikos in there for being able to discard them, so all good. Mm -hmm. Well, so we got we got a Sanctuary Keeper. We got the Thordens in there, double Toto. So, assuming there is also a Toto in his limit break, that's three forms of board wipes then in there. Yeah, exactly. Who who's crazy enough to only play one Toto this day and age? Mm. I'd like to meet the crazy man, Willing. Because me, oh, you're mad. <laughs> I couldn't do it with less than two. Mm -hmm. Interesting that Ben has gone for the um, the Claris package as opposed to the Warrior of Light package, which Bart's. And th this just goes to show the many different ways that you can go with full color. I think he's still running his high from the top cut that he got with his old Braska deck, so I think he enjoys the same backup package. And to be fair, I think going into this set, it still works either way. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he was using something similar without the Darkness Manifest at uh, Newport, where I run into him, and he absolutely mullered me with it. So, uh, you know, I'll give him props to where props are due. I think the Fiend is going to be very key in this matchup for Ben, and yep. potentially even for Jacob as well, because these are two very summon heavy decks. We've got what? 13 in one and 21 in the other. Yeah, the thing it. is, though, even with the Fiend, I feel like with how many summons Jacob runs, he can bait out the initial cancel of the Fiend and still be able to arc quite easily. Mm -hmm. we, we are seeing a lot of this already today, both in game one and game two, though, where we're having to spend six on a five drop backup in first turn. Um, Obviously, we're getting into these sort of steeper and steeper cost backup lines, and uh, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a bit better for Iridia than it is a Tyro, though, because you're searching the two instead of the just the one. Yeah, but I mean, you had to use Thordon to get to that Iridia, though. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's expensive. So in theory, we can get to the four, you know, four backups quite quickly if you're Jacob, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in return, I expect Ben to go to three here off the King Tycoon, probably oh. into the Lena. Especially when you've got a King Tycoon to discard as well. Yep, nice and clean. There's the Lena. 
that will probably come down and leave him on three backups. I did clock a Tyro in hand, so that means he will have all four colours set up next turn. Be amazing if he then somehow pulls oh, the. Oh, uh, just. Is he? Uh, oh, I no. thought he was passing. Yeah, yeah you, uh, you, you play the ladder. He's got the Tyro in hand. It's a nice clean curve for next turn. And you don't want to keep a six drop lev. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's a nice backup to have as well. Jacob's playing quite a few EX bursts here that Lena can kind of bank off. Mm -hmm. Yep, this will be a Rydia into most likely an Ico to mill the arc. I feel it's the standard play we see for this. How was game one, by the way, guys? Uh, interesting one. Connor yeah. put on an absolute show. Um, and it, it was a bad matchup, I think. Yeah. It's the problem you have is when you're against Mono Earth, is everything's like a 9k forward. So your deck's main board wipe being loose so you're essentially having to cast nine instead of seven to be able to board wipe stuff like wall yeah and uh, obviously he was using tilica and then uh kind of was like tedious <laughs> yeah so no tilica for you so it was it was uh yeah it was an absolute show but uh there's that arc and there's that ico like that's we not the ico i was expecting though no that's a different one right is that the that five drop one search a no summoner? three Three uh, drops. So three yeah, drops. Uh, yeah. Search so summoner. So maybe yes. Yeah, Search so that uh, legend Yuna mm -hmm. from Opus Twenty. So mm -hmm. interesting one. I guess we're gonna keep the arc in hand then. To be honest, I don't hate that Ico in this deck. Oh, Search as a unit does exactly what you need it to do. Yeah, and, it's, and looking at his uh, break zone already, it's completely stacked with summons. We've already got three in there, uh, four even mm -hmm. actually. Ben drew the fiend. Big. <laughs> oh yes. Is he gonna play it though? There's the Tyro, just grab a wall. Grab a wall, it's live next turn, no reason not to. I mean, you've got to be careful. We've already seen him draw, or, or you know, Jacob get the, the arc, and you've got to be careful that you don't run into a Chaos, though. Um, That's true, mm. but I feel like next turn, it just makes sense anyway to play the wall and then play the theme straight after the reactivation. Potentially, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, don't forget, some people aren't, a, a, opposed to actually casting uh, or hard casting an arc. I wouldn't be. <laughs> hmm. He was thinking about the Darkness Manifest there. I think it's a bit too early for that. It would be interesting if we can see the Darkness Manifest actually manifest into this game. So, so From looking at the list, no Refias. So this isn't a Refia control list. Oof. Whoa, 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 whoa. First time chatting and uh, you come in here with, with some heat there, Mr. Angel Blood. I mean... I remember my first emo name. Do you remember yours? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Mate, I buried my old email address from when I was a kid, and I will never think of it ever again. Do you remember what your first Call of Duty Xbox name was? Yeah, don't. How I, many underscores and big I, and small no, X's did I, you I, have? I, I, I've, it's always the big X and the small, small X, X, isn't it? I've still got my same Xbox tag, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I miss the old KSI. So, Kryl from uh, Jacob, and he's going to get back the Aqua Tarasu, uh, the Leviathan that cancels a forward auto ability. Mm -hmm. uh, the four color deck is not playing Ark. He has Kusiths, Leviathans, Amaterasus, Mist Dragons, and Asura. Yeah, it's Jacob on the left who's running the Chaos Ark package. Um, so that's why when you're playing four color, obviously you've got to be careful not to run into those. They can be pretty mean. Mm -hmm. And. Again, we know Jacob has, has obviously searched the uh, the arc, so if you're Ben, you already know that it's it's in play and that you got to expect that chaos. I mean, if you're Ben, you're trying to aim to play Zidane as fast as possible to try and mm. start milling the uh, chaos and arcs, right? Yep, yeah, Zidane is going to be very important in this matchup. Yeah. Oh, don't put that evil on us. Get physical. No one wants to see an arc mirror match today. We all want to keep our sanity, thanks. <laughs> Mm. Well, are we thinking to discard here? Levy's cancelling. Well, no, he can't. He's, I think he's discarding it. Yeah, yeah he's discarding it. Because there's no yep. forwards to cancel anything, so... Uh, no good brand. So I think he's just playing the uh, playing the Ico above cost. For the mm. Una. Uh, so, Angel Blood, you have got me, Fish. You have got Kitty, who's joining us because he's got a buy this round. Um, well, two buys, in fact, because he's, he's won some tourneys. And I am joined with Taylor as well, so... Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. We're vibing. We're here all day. Um, we'll hopefully get a break every mm. now and again. But no. You guys have got a mission ahead of you. Six rounds plus top cuts. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be a long day. Oh, 
Oh, someone, someone's, get, let me get someone's throwing shade. Like, who? We have to start throwing yes, some shade. I, I did learn from my la- uh, my time in Manchester. I got drunk last night, so <laughs> we're, we're pulling out all the stops today. Master of the drunken fist himself. In all fairness, I don't think I'd use my bike cards because right now submarining has been my way to get into Top Gun. <laughs> uh, Just got to be careful with that bubble. Yeah, how you got to do what you got to do. Right, so you have your Warrior of Light. It's a free shot. What did you draw off that, an arc? Arc. Arc is not a bad follow-up. It's... Again, though, you, you, you know he's got arc in hand. You have got to prepare for that. So if he doesn't play the Fiend here, I'd be very shocked. I feel like you play the arc and search for a Zidane to be looking for the Chaos, uh, to be looking strip. Yeah, but again, that, that's if you hit it. If you don't hit it, then you run into it anyway, so, you yeah. know. Playing the Bash. Uh, yeah, yes. hit any X. No, Ooh. we're hitting Amma instead, though. Oof. That's not nice. I think. He did get the Zidane, though, so he yeah. is thinking what you guys are thinking. Yeah, I think Jacob's going to be happy to see one of those Amats go. Oh, um, 100%. Because what we're down to, definitely three in the list, right? Yep, so... Uh, Two to go. Yeah, so probably makes him feel a little bit better if he does ever play the uh, the Chaos. What do you guys think of the VV choice as a firebacker? Interesting. I literally, the first thing I said to uh, Fish when I saw it in the list, I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> I, I suppose the, the thing is as well, as if you're like sat there with like Wall on the field or something like that and you hit that as an EX, well, at least you can finish it, finish something off or something, I guess. But uh, I mean, it's, it's I'm not sure it would be my choice. I think I still prefer the three drop Edgar just to be able to free place yeah. like Lena or because because mm. it seems like he's dropped Edgar to one in order to make room for that VV, and he's only playing Shantato at one as well. He's one of those brave men. Mm. So uh, he, does he play the Zidane now? He's thinking. I think he's, he's got to. He's got like, to. I think yeah. you have to. If you do, you're putting Jacob under so much pressure. Here. Snipe the board wipe. Snipe the to- uh, chaos arts. Oh no, he's going for four. Is it a fiend, fiend? first? Yeah. yeah. Fiend and Zidane. Zidane. He's going, yeah, he's, yeah. Going, oh, he's going for it. Going hard. He's going for it. There's the Chaos, there's the Ark. Yeah. Alright, so you rip the Chaos. Yeah. That's the easy one to start with. So that's one down, one to go. How many is uh, Jacob playing in just his... Two chaos. Just two. Chaos. Just two. Yeah. That's a brave shout. Uh, yeah, stri- I would strip the Ark here. Yeah. I'd be more tempted to go for the Unit. I was going to say I'd strip the Unit. The Ark's still fine. The Ark is still fine. It's not the wrong choice. I, I guess if you end up hitting your second chaos, but I think the likelihood is quite low, so you go for the Una instead. Yeah. Um, go on. You carry on, no go. I think with the Vivi, I think it's in there for your ice and your knights. Yes. And, it's, and your barts. It's, it's 5k damage, right? Yeah. So it's hitting your last wells, it's hitting yeah. your barts, it's hitting the things it needs to hit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a nice little tech, I think. It's it, Again, I... One of the things I love about this game is just seeing some of those older cards make a resurgence every now and again. So hopefully that might be the thing. I think Jacob has the Toto here. Um, and that's not a. Oh, it is a unicorn. I mean, you could, but you're going to have to discard a lot for it. It's going to be discarding three anyway. Um, oh, we've just had a message. Uh, oh, so this is an interesting one, guys. So we'll, we'll try and get a stream for this. So Thursday, July 25th, we're going to do an event, no ban list. All cards are legal for a night. Oh. Hopefully, we're oh. going to try and get that on stream As for you. As a newer player that's not seen all of these broken Mate, cards, I'm oh. interested. Do you want to meet my friend Gasper? <laughs> oh, no. Turbo Disco. Hey, still. Well, the, well we, we got Fasario, we got the Riku. Uh, Riku Mill, we got Gesper Thaumaturge, Cleone, Sildra, Sildra, Althea, Sophie's Not Limited, Doga's back. Do- oh. Oh. So what's the worst out of all of them? All of it. All of it's worse. <laughs> um, what, what was the one that kept you up at night? Uh, probably Turbo Discard, Gesper Thaumaturge. K- Kazoo's a Gesper Thaumaturge turn one, love it. And that, you add Lufenia now into that and the oh, other code. Oh god, Ooh. yeah. Right, so. Anyway, back to the game at hand. But yeah, guys, July 25th, that'll be a stream for us. Stern Leonis, thank you, Steve. Yeah, Stern, Stern Leonis. I get to play Vestale again. Oh, and God. And play Vestale. Yeah. Oh, God, you haven't played that in ages, yeah. That. Oof. Right. Mashery will be back as well, just another one to add into the list. Yeah. Right. How do you deal with this board? Um, pray and hope. I, I think, <laughs> I don't think Jacob has enough earth in hand to be able to 
coach ever. So I think he's going to try and at least maybe snipe out the Zidane here. The Zidane's got to go. That's going to ruin his day if it doesn't. Yuna pass. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do the ability right away, right? Uh, no, no. Because, yeah, you only have to do it once. But, uh, well, the... Oh, but then does he have the second Yuna, though? That's going to be the, uh, the, the trick here. Oh, Dale wants to play Dadaluma. Oh, God. Yeah. To be oh. honest, though, Dadaluma being a um, thing... Oh. I'm surprised they don't do it I'm with the uh, I'm surprised you don't coach a lane. You can't, Fiend. Yeah, he'll oh, get cancelled. Yeah. yeah. Fiend is putting in work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can keep all that. I don't I don't see yeah. why why you'd want to... Oh, that could there we go. will work. That one will. So, now Jacob has a little window. Yeah, but he's got nothing in his hand. I mean, he could hand just, cast the Leviathan, I guess. So you have to cancel the Fiend, yeah. so then you can actually Draw use your summons. Draw a card. Oh, we're getting a judge call, but it does, in fact, work. Yes, because it's not being... It does work. It yeah, does work. It is an ER. It's perfect. It does not get cancelled. Cannot be cancelled. It's not being cast. I think they're debating over it now. Yeah. Taylor, do you want to run up and just make sure? Yeah, yeah, just so the... Uh... Chat, we are correct, aren't we? The Kuka Lane will cancel the Fiend because it sneaks under the protection. Yeah, because it kind of goes on the stack, but it can't be a stack sort of thing. Mm-hmm. So that's the way I kind of see it. But we'll have Taylor go over just to make sure that it's, you know uh, we get the decision for you as it is spoken. Yep, thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. We, we thought the case. Taylor is now confirming that to the boys on the table. Yeah, none of, none of those uh, free easy plays or take backs in this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being a, uh, a stream Nazi today. I'm going to uh, make sure we abide by the rules because none of these reactivating the tyros. Mm -hmm. Ball crappies. Right, so you have a window now where Fiend is off, and you do have a couple summons in hand. But it's only a six drop lev, and it's going to be your entire hand. Mm -hmm. So so he can cast the Kukulain again, and at the very least get a draw off the Yuna. Yeah. So I think he needs to. So, so he's going to get two draws at least. Yes. Because he's not going to get the draw off the Yuna, first of all. So so that would be the argument here. Is if, if it was. Yeah, three draws. True. But that would be the argument here as well. Is it if it was the fiend would cancel it, then Yuna would give Jacob the draw. Um, yes, Yuna so would still get the draw regardless. But yeah. so we came to the conclusion because it's not being cast, it still goes through. However, for some reason, Jacob decided to blank the wall. Eh? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's um, daft. Sure. Surely you would have either picked Zidane or the. Well, no, fiend. no, you, you, you choose the Fiend because then you can cast the other Kukulane and the Yuna will net you a draw as well. So you draw three cards. You cycle through three cards he deck and he needs CP. Yeah, he and, needs CP and, now. And an answer to these cards. And now he's drawn two backups as well. Did so. you draw a total? The thing is, before the question was even asked, he'd already targeted the wall. So oh. Gareth wouldn't let him change the target no, despite which, the ruling, which is very yeah, fair. No, 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 that's fair. fair, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, yeah, once, once, once you've made your choice so when are we going to collectively start pronouncing a kooka lane right uh, never because never. we're Welsh it's, sorry it, it's choo choo train come on <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got new trains on our lines we're excited we're getting electrified yeah and, and I will agree yes Jacob making a definitely uh, a questionable decision there he just draw the total after he's just paid his fifth backup oh my god um, I think what it was, was Jacob didn't know that Cooch Lane would actually blank the text with a fiend on the field, so I think he just picked a wall, said, I don't really care, and just took the draw. He chose wrong, that's for sure. Um, if he has drawn the total, I'd just be inclined to play the forward one here. I don't think, I don't think he needs Earth CP. He needs at least five Earth CP to be able to do that. Well... No, you've no, you got, got five backups, backups you donut. Well, he's got the five Earth CP. Jacob. Come on, Jacob. You've like, got you're five. better than this. Come on, man. Yep, there you go. He's now looking at his LB deck. Does he have the CP? Well, yeah, he does, because he was going to discard... No, he's got water cards. Yeah, but he's, he was going to discard a Ridia and a Shantato. Oh, play a Shantato. 
He's got one, two, three, four. Yeah, so you tap two, including the Ridia, leave the Cryola, and then yeah. you discard the Shantaro and the Ridia in hand, and you've got the. the yeah. You don't Chantal say now, though. Surely you swing with the Yuna, get the point of damage, and then Chantal turn the second phase. Uh, I. It's readable. I think it's very readable. Now, does Ben have an Ami? Is another question we should be asking. Because if he does, that's. Oh, do you just scoop at that point, right? And I'm also sorry, guys, I realise I haven't updated it to damage for there. My apologies. Um, yeah, people saying Jacob's mental is shot because of the uh, the incorrect target. Hey. He does have the Amat. He does have the Amat. He does have the Amat. <laughs> there it is. You just scoop. I, I, I would scoop this. Yeah, I think Ben is. Just away with this one. This is, uh, I think, this is over. Yeah. That fiend sedan him was big. Perhaps. And uh, is it the total dead? Is it not eight k? It's nine. Uh, it's nine. nine. Oh wow. Okay. Shows how much time I spend playing these uh, games these days. <laughs> right. So the thing now is the fiend is back online. He has that summon protection. Come on, Duff, you can't talk about pocket sand when I'm taking a drink, okay? That's not fair. <laughs> and we we'll spat my drink everywhere. In all fairness, though, I mean... So I, what does Jacob have in hand? He's got a six-cost Leviathan, right? Which he can't cast because of the fiend. Yeah, he's... Uh, Ben's at a full hand. Well, the sedan isn't blockable. If you can get... One of what you know, one of these blockers out of the way. He's, he's got Une in hand. He can bounce one. Oh, this uh, yeah, this yeah. is this is over. Uh, I mean, we do also have. No, don't don't oh, play Leo, Ben. Ben, don't play Leo. You win this turn. Please no, don't just play, play Surges. Oh, Surges also works. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Surges will do the job. Doll one down. He's, can... he's skipped past the Surges. Although he's we could, at yeah. I mean, Tidus is just a nail in the coffin, I guess. But you also don't want to like free up a backup space. <laughs> He, regardless of what you play here, whether it is the... Well, uh, you know he's got a Shantotto in hand, so if he no, manages to survive... He, he, he had he to pit, discard he it. Oh. it. He pitched it. He had to, to, uh, to try and play the forward one. Which is why I think Une is now safe and ready to go. Yeah. But again, we saw this in the American Material Cup. You do not want to make a space in the back of the line for a potential comeback here. Um, so... Mm -hmm. Yep. Right, what are we doing, men? Tap two discard six yeah. so we are playing the UNA not removing the summons yeah bounce the bounce the toto send that away probably send the Ridia as well while you're at it I, again no I leave his backups out you no, don't yeah, yeah. you do not want him to by some miracle hit EXs and survive and then run into a toto like no you are 100% correct Boy. so Zidane gets through for one yeah. Wall probably also gets through for two and he's got two other attacks this the fiend can crash. I think that's the way you gotta do it. Yeah, keep him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he does have a kukulain, but that don't matter. No, so, it doesn't matter. Fiend's there. Leave him. Yeah. Leave him. So, attack with wall. Crash the fiend. Attack with uh, attack with the uh, the bash. I think that's what we're gonna see. Ooh, oh, who said okay. though? That's a little too do, late though. Do you just in case get back the Toto though? You've got, yeah, I mean, you have to, I think. Just by some miracle. Oh, it takes this one. Yeah. And oh, it's a four done. Oh, oh, could oh. we see? But remember, first summon's going to get cancelled. We did remember the Lena trigger. Hmm. Oh, we do have Unares, though. Is this enough for Jacob to survive a turn? Did Ben draw two there? He should have drawn two for both the X's. Uh, oh, I don't. I know. Yeah, as well. go find out. Um, I know. I saw the uh, the the third and trigger. Um, oh, Jake, never mind. Jacob scoops. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Does not matter. Well just, played, Ben. That was a show of force. Absolute monster show in there by Ben. Uh, we didn't get to see the name of the de you know, namesake of the deck when Dak was Smash Fest, but. <laughs> You know, that was still pretty nasty. Well, if, um, if you want to see Darkness Manifesto, you can watch that on ITV at 7 p.m. <laughs> Funny. But, guys, we will do a quick be right back. We'll check on the time of the round and uh, see if we can potentially get an interview in. All right, have a good one, guys. See you around. All right, and the winner of round two, put on absolute clinic, is Ben. Mate, Darkness Manifest, what inspired you? <laughs> um, I... 
plays a lot of the uh, like Faris Raffia version of the wall lists uh, felt weak against quite a lot of things um, either it goes off and it feels fantastic or, the, or it just doesn't uh, whereas wall pile of just good stuff I was going good. to say, how much thought did you actually put behind that deck, or is it all of your favourite cards in one? <laughs> well, no, otherwise I'd be running Braska, like, yeah, that's which true. I sadly had to cut. But no, like, I played a similar list when I went to Germany last year and top eighted that. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, let's see if I can do something similar. I was like, okay, I can add Darkness Manifest because the card's a beast. And then it was just like, well, I could either go like Earth Cecil, Wind Cecil, and play around with that or I can just cut the earth cessels and just play good stuff and it seems to be working talking of good stuff um, I think we kind of got the idea of why it's in there but Vivi from Opus 3 yeah um, I'm guessing for your like night matchups and stuff you know things like that so it did run me for ages and again every time it hit the EX burst I was like I don't want to get rid of my warrior of light I don't want to get rid of my Zidane's I don't want to get rid of anything so I was like well what else can I put in there and Vivi just hits that slot nicely of it deals 5k if I wanted to it works with Warrior of Light nice just so any sort of changes you're looking at at the deck or do you think it's pretty much set in stone at this point I have no idea I literally made this last night and haven't even tested it so, <laughs> so okay so you made it last night are you uh, 2 and 0 now yeah I'm 2 and 0 now see the man is a professional <laughs> like, he's just so good you don't need skill when you have luck <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that wasn't luck that was just like I know we saw no, the, as soon as we saw the Fiend and Zidane go down as Kitty said I was basically game at that point yes like the Fiend's in there because Chaos Arc is such a miserable matchup yeah uh, to have to stop them from being able to do both and then Zidane's just yeah Zidane yeah. silly well, stop doing both when you can Zidane both of them like you did I mean you know, yeah so guys we'll probably call it there because we only had like five minutes left on the round it looks like we're going to be setting up here in soon but again congratulations good luck for the rest of the day Cheers. guys we'll be back with you in about five minutes with Anthony